Okay, so for our top feature piece, of course, we're going to attach the tubing. Run it down into the basin area. Now what we're gonna do up on top, we've got a little bit of splash foam. It's gonna go into that output. And a couple of rocks just to really make this water running smoothly from tier to tier. If you want, you could a little a little dab of silicone in there if you're concerned about this being, you know, just up there loosely. Silicone's your friend on that. Okay, so the pump. We're gonna start off by setting it to about three quarter strength. This is in there perfectly. The grommet is is touching really well. Getting it wet will help slide it on better. So you want it sticking up about like that, right? Then we're just gonna put it in the hole. In this case here, it's a pretty tight one. So if it sticks up, that's okay, because we know that it's really in there tight, but okay, I've managed to get it pretty far down in. So I don't see how we're gonna get any water leaking there. This grommet isn't touching perfectly. I think if we force it a little bit more and wiggle the bottom, that's pretty good. You know, this one was a little bit easier to get out. Okay, we're gonna adjust our light because we want our light a little bit above the lip of the grommet there, right? So you'll notice there, it's, it's, it's in there pretty good. So there, there's always gonna be a little bit of water leaking down there and that's why it's really important to have a drip loop on this. If you have these cords coming out like this, any water that leaks from that grommet is gonna follow the cord and out. That's why the cords have to go down into the water basin area before they come back up and out. Again, you wanna make sure that this piece here is not submersed into the basin. It is waterproof. It's good for outdoor use, but it needs to be outside of the fountain. Our, our best recommendation is to have it like this. That, that way you know you have enough light cord to create your drip loop and still plenty of cord to go to your transformer our transformer make sure that our washer gets right up tight against there before we tighten that up check these again make sure that these are all the way in so that our gasket touches okay we're good there okay so it is running good from here you can see it's a little bit jumpy from here what you can do is a little bit of Vaseline under here or silicone the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it down a little bit I think okay so here we have it running at the lowest setting looking good now because we've got our drip loop here you see nothing coming down these light cords nothing coming out of here just by adding the rock well, that's why we put them in there and it's a zen thing for some people some you know you can affect the flow you can affect affect the sound all by you know these little accessories that we put in there even even just the shim might change how it runs if we shim it back in that direction You're going to have some splash on any fountain running. I mean, it's it's inevitable. It's an outdoor product. You know, hopefully there's some flowers or other plant material around it that can benefit from a little bit of splash. But uh, set up like it is here, probably two to three days before you have to top it up again. If you're in an area where it's really dry, you might have a higher level of evaporation. But just from splash, this this should run from 48 to 72 hours without a top up.